Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am going to zoom in so you could see this really fun paper clip I made. We've got an airplane flying in the clouds with the banner behind him saying fly high. And I've used a tiny little paper clip as part of my connection there. The reason is that in May is Toward the end of May is National Paperclip <laughs> Day, so we like to honor that in our paperclip art group by using an additional paperclip in our design. That's in addition to the paperclip that actually holds the design together. So I thought I'd use mine as like a dangle charm here. So I'm going to show you what I made that with, and I'm using this, which just came for me. This is Tonic Studios Edition 14 of their Premium Card Making Magazine. And I am filming a video about showing you the entire inside, and then I will also be making other projects with this. So what I am using from this set is this little banner, uh, this little banner right there, this cloud stencil, the airplane, and I think I'm actually going to use a cloud this time as well, which I didn't in the past. And so I have pre-cut the airplane in silver cardstock, and I've cut the body of the plane in red. And also there are little tiny little pieces here. I, I cut one of these in red. I like to leave this little piece silver. And then I also did in white the little part right here, which is like the cabin. And I stamped out the little banner right there. I also need two pieces of cardstock that are one and three quarter inches by one and a half inches. And that's what's going to be my little uh, sky and clouds here. The only reason I have two is because I felt like I needed a little bit of stability when I did it the first time. And one piece of cardstock felt too floppy, but it depends on how sturdy your cardstock is. So the first thing I want to do is to get my cloud sponged on this. Now this is the new mixed media mat uh, from Tonic. And I, I know there's glare, and that's the reason why I tend not to use these on video, but I think I might be able to put something under it like this so that we don't have the glare. And I am going to do some clouds on here. So the first thing I do is pick a little section of the cloud, put it up there. It's easier to move these magnets if you tilt them to the side. And it's also easier to put them down that way, side, and then raise them up. Otherwise, it's very, it's very loud. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of Midnight Surf here. Very lightly. This is a dark color. I'm not trying to give it a solid look, but a soft look. So it's okay with me that part of it is kind of fuzzy and, and not all of it gets done. Okay, now I still have some of that on here. So when I go to grab my polar ice, touch them to the side, I'm moving this over a little bit. So now this is kind of going to be a medium color for me because I still have some of the first blue on there and I've reached for the second blue. Tilt these to the side, slide this over put them back down and every time I do this I'm getting a lighter color of blue and I have this white border at the bottom that I'm not a fan of so I'm going to take this and just kind of go around the bottom and get that a little bit okay so now you see I have different colors of blue and I like that a lot now this surface is wipe clean and you will want to wipe this and your stencil down but I'm going to wait because I'm going to do one more step and I also want to say that I don't use baby wipes to wipe down my craft mats and my stencils because it is such a waste. It's just going in the landfill. I have rags that I use in my craft room and when I'm done I can set them to soak if it's got glittery paste on it or I can um, just put them directly in the washing machine. So I need to get a spatula and I'm going to use the Nouveau Glitter Paste and this one is Moonstone. Okay, I'm just grabbing a little tiny bit on the tip of my little spreading knife there 
and I'm just going to kind of highlight the tops of my clouds here are getting a little bit of paste. I'm not trying to get it thick. I'm just trying to spread it but accent the clouds a little bit. That's all I need. All right, now I can take my rag and clean all my surfaces down and I'm going to let this I'm going to let that dry. So, that is dry. So now I want to glue this onto its backing. Again, because my cardstock is not very firm, I want to give it a little bit extra. Line that up, and then I'm going to round the corners. And I'm using the crocodile quarter inch. Could have done this before actually um, inking, but it really didn't matter. Okay, now to assemble the airplane on here. Now when I place this, instead of putting it right in the middle, I'm going to put it closer to the right side. And the reason for that is that I'm going to poke a hole right here to dangle this because I want this actually attached to the plane, not to the sky. And the closer my airplane is to the side of this, the easier it will be to get that um, hole in there and to get a jump drive on it. Jump, a jump ring. I keep calling it a jump drive <laughs> to get a jump ring in there. Okay, now I'm going to add. Now, another thing is you can do the glittering after you get the airplane on here so you know where to glitter. But I did find that it was harder to do that as opposed to doing it this way. Okay, so I decided I want to add another little cloud on there this time. And I'm using this glitter card in Sugar Crystal and this little cloud die. And so for little projects, I like to use this, which is the Easy Cuts from Dress My Crafts. I do have the uh, Mini Evolution Advanced from We Are Memory Keepers, and I find that this one is just so much easier to use. Oh, that's an adorable little cloud. And there we go. There's also a really cute sun in the die set. So let's pull this over and see what we want here. I'm thinking of hanging this off the top here. So it's not squarely on it. Just give it a little bit of puff there. And then we've got this one here. I'll put this one in the middle. I won't hang that one off. Oh yeah, I like that. So let's add the clouds to this one as well. Okay, so I have a really tiny hole punch. It's just been in my stash for a while. And I'm going to come over here and punch a hole right in the end, the tail of the plane there. And the paper clips that I'm using are these itty bitty mini paper clips from creativeimpressions.com. And I also have these in my shop. So these come in three colors like copper, brass, and silver. And all I need is to grab a jump ring. Now the reason I, I could just put the paper clip in here like this, but then um, it's totally up to you. I wanted to have a longer piece there, so I'm gonna open the jump ring by twisting it. And putting it back. There. And see, now the paper clip uh, lies flat. Instead of being up like this, it's flat because I have that jump ring in there. So now for this, none of the stamps um, in the kit fit this. So I just wrote on here, fly high. And now I'm going to write it again. And I'm going to add just a little bit of color with the polar ice again. I don't think I'm going to need to get my mat out for that. I'm just putting it basically on the tail here. 
And when I cut this out, I'm going to leave a border around this part in order to make sure that I have a big enough area to be able to put a hole in there. I'm actually leaving a, a border all the way around it. And we need to punch that hole and open up our jump ring. Make sure I got that on there right so it's actually facing the right way and it is. Last thing I need is one of these which are the paper clip blanks in my shop. I'm going to use power tack to adhere that. I'll turn that over to make sure I don't have any glue sticking out. And one little piece and I'm going to put this in the rice. This is what I use when I want to lay a project down to dry, but it's it's lumpy and it won't lie flat. So I just lay it in here and it will keep that balanced for me. This one is not really weird shape, but if you have something that's completely round, like a ball shape, this really helps. The whole rice thing helps. Okay, so that is the paper clip using that magazine. I think they are such fun. And I just love the dangle on there. I think that gives it an extra special touch. And happy National Paperclip Day for those of you who are in the U.S.